morning guys, welcome to 2017. Um, right, this one is a, a quick video on ivy. Now, I personally don't like ivy, there's lots of people who do. They go, oh, it's lovely, it's beautiful. Um, I hate this stuff because it pretty much kills everything. Um, I'm recording this in YouTube Capture because what I'm hoping to do is keep this stored and then add to it over the next probably two years, uh, once every six months. So what we've got, I've got a tree, I've just cleared all the ivy out from the bottom because it's been strangling it. So as you can see, there is a hell of a lot of ivy growing in this one. I don't think it's been touched for five, six years. So what I've done is I've gone around the base and for the moment, I've just cut the ivy so the stuff that's in the tree isn't connected to the ground anymore. Now the problem with the ivy is um, where it has all the tiny little tendrils and roots that are on the surface of the tree, it actually draws moisture and nutrients and hormones and all the other bits from the tree which is why over a long period of time trees do tend to suffer and end up dying if they've got too much ivy on them so this is an initial start now it's not a quick process um, I have once cleared a tree of ivy completely it took three days because uh, you have to try and clamber up and peel it all off and as it gets higher up it's, it's not strong enough to peel everything off so it's an absolute nightmare to clear a tree of ivy like that so what I do is like I've shown you cut out a couple of feet and that's done on all the stems on this one of which there are about 20 in total and then over the next year year and a half two years everything above it will die um, and then once it's dead it's much much easier to pull 90% of it off so I will leave it at that so you can see what we've got and I will I'll try and set myself a right, uh, reminder of my diary to come back and actually look at this tree once in the summertime. We're 10th uh, no, Jan, um, and then I'll do the same thing again in July, and then hopefully again, same thing next January. Hopefully it won't be three feet in snow next January. But uh, we'll try and do it like that and see how it goes. But that will start to die off now. Um, it's cold enough that it'll start affecting it straight away. And we'll just see how it goes through the summer. But for clearing ivy, cut out a couple of feet and then wait. Um, always clear off all the uh, all the cuttings you take, get rid of that. And then you can either burn it or take it to the tip. Um, but don't leave it on the ground because it'll actually start growing again. Because where you've cut it, it'll start to reroot. So literally you could take, you could snap a bit of branch off of ivy, stick it in some soft soil and it'll grow a new plant. It's that easy to grow. That's why I hate it so much. Right simple one there you go and uh, I will record this again I'll post this one and hopefully be able to add to it in the summer um, so it might end up with three or four different videos but each one a bit longer with a bit of progress on it so uh, have a great 2017 and I'll see you again soon cheers So you can see from here that the framework is much more open now. Well, the eye just died off. So I was going for a closer look. So all the branches that you can see wrapped around the main trunks, that's all the ivy framework. And all the brown leaves is all ivy. The rest of the green leaf is the main tree. Going close and have a look where the cuts were made for the ivy stems lower down. You can see they've already started growing back again but they'll be a lot easier to peel off and control. And now that the, the main part of the framework of the rest of the tree has been taken off, then you can concentrate on dealing with the stuff at the bottom. Now what I would tend to do here is actually pull as much of this off down to ground level and then spray all the ivy at ground level. Don't break it off if you can. If it breaks off, fine but peel it off down to ground level, leave it all on the ground and spray it with something very, very strong. Unfortunately, a lot of the really good strong stuff has gone off the market recently, so it's no longer allowed to be used. But also check around on other trees that aren't attached. This one here has got its own bit of ivy growing on it, which I'm gonna need to deal with, because what that's now doing is traveling across and we'll go back onto this main tree. I can see up there on the trunk of this tree, is ivy that's actually grown from somewhere else which I need to deal with. So as you can see, 
cut everything off low down and then when I would imagine with the hot weather we've had that would have gone off in the last month possibly two um, but what it means is now we can just deal with the stuff at the bottom and for what's down here now to deal with this part of it is you peel this stuff off you see there's just little tendrils growing from all the different branches it's got growing up peel this stuff off down to ground level and then spray everything with something really really strong down here and then you can kill off the ivy at ground level it does need to be exceptionally strong um, ivy is tenacious to say the least and uh, unfortunately I mean DDT is not being available now for 12, 13 years and even some good stuff like uh, sodium chlorate was banned last year um, but any good strong systemic weed killer or translocated weed killer will do the job uh, something like SBK stump killer or brush killer is pretty good um, and it will need a number of treatments um, but you can spray thoroughly when you do it um, when you do use stuff like that, uh, protect your eyes, protect your mouth, have gloves on, have full length sleeves on because you can get quite bad skin reactions to that stuff because it is so strong. Okay, right, so there you go. That is how you deal with ivy. And hopefully you don't have too many people going, oh, but I love ivy, it doesn't damage trees. Yes, it does. In the long run, it will kill off pretty much anything. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> few other trees I've got to deal with that have got a lot of ivy infestation on them. So sometime in the next month I'll clear off the base of those and actually get all these trees nice and healthy and strong again. And even that one over there's got some. I think one at the bottom corner has it too. Unfortunately, half of the residents here love ivy. But I keep telling them it's going to kill their trees. And they love the trees more so they've given in and let me clear it all. Right, okay, so till next time, um, be safe with your chemicals, whatever you're doing. Uh, give us a like, and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. Cheers.